Right, and so obviously at the CrossFit Games this last few days, there's been yoke carry was a big part of it. Uh, the event was a 50 foot yoke carry and then into a sprint repeated through. A lot of the guys struggling with the sort of the position and the foot speed. Have you got any tips for people using uh, yoke for the first couple of times? Um, obviously the, the CrossFit Games yoke is going to be slightly lighter than the strongman yoke I would imagine, but the principles are the same. Um, which is, you don't want it too low if you're going to step off your back and too high can cause you problems as well. It's sort of somewhere in the middle. And I always have it so if you look at your shoulder, it wants to sit at your shoulder height, so below the traps. And as you put your, as you, as you, as you put your arms out, if you've got some, a, a bit of muscle on there, it makes sort of a shelf that it sits on. Some people do carry it too low, which of course causes a problem, because it either falls off your back or you end up with the, with the bent spine trying to hold it on. Either way is no good. So my answer to that question is probably somewhere in the middle. Um, about level with your shoulder blade straight across. Similar position to where you put a squat bar. Again, with a squat bar, you don't need too high, you don't need too low. Because um, they both have the, you know, the, uh, the yeah. problems, you know. What about equipment wise? Some guys aren't wearing belts with the yoke, especially if this carries over into strongman as well, it's doing speed yokes without the belt, knee yeah. wraps, things like that. <laughs> if I was doing a yoke, I, I would certainly have the equipment on there. Um, 100% a decent belt. I use a nice wide belt. Uh, with with a, uh, a heavy belt on top of it, okay. I would always do that. Um, so is that a lever belt then? I wear well, well, a lever belt, but I mean, you know, just for ease of access. Yeah, just else. just just a decent decent belt um, with a wide one underneath, just to really stabilise that quad. See if you're doing a heavy one, but well, it's all relative. If, if if these guys are only ninety or hundred kilos or eighty kilos, even, you know, you know, the yoke's lighter, but it's up yeah. to this. I think it was a 300 pound yoke, so, pound yoke, like okay, so it's still the decent way. So, um, yeah, and also protect your knees because obviously, you know, you've got that pounding with the weight on your back, so it's a good set of knee sleeves for the yoke, uh, you know, fairly tight. And then also, well, a big problem that a lot of people get with the yoke is shin splits. With shin splits, I've always managed to cure that by uh, wearing some good knee breaks over my shins. So it protects your calf, keeps your calf nice and warm because a hell of a lot of people tear the calves on, uh, on yoke. As you come up on you, especially if it's lighter as well. When you when you do really heavy yoke, you're quite flat footed naturally, because you can't get that spring going. When you do a lighter yoke, you tend to bring your toes up a little bit more. Then you bring your calf into it, hence more calf tears. So yeah, I would always wear uh, knee braids around the uh, around the calves as well, the shins, and that will also stop your shin splints. And uh, the most important thing actually is wearing uh, some trainers that don't squash down, don't have any spring in them. The fashionable trainers with the with the air in them and all that sort of thing. Nike they're a big no-go. Yeah. yeah. You want something fairly solid on the bottom. If you want a heel, that's fine, but it's got to be solid. Yeah, the last question, what about wearing knee wraps, especially if this sort of goes into the heavier guys, what do you think to that? <coughs> some guys do when it gets really heavy. I mean I I never have, but 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 I've got some really good quality um, double ply knee sleeves which I, I think are just as good on this. But if you were doing a really, really heavy yoke, I don't think the crossfitters would benefit from this. I think they'd be better off with, it, with just the knee sleeve. Uh, the knee wraps can be a bit restricted. Um, I think if you were doing a massive yoke like the guys in the Armour Classic, for instance, I'll possibly think about it then. But these guys are doing, you know, 680 kilo yokes, it's a different ballgame. Um, but yeah, it's horses and crosses really. But the average strongman doing a, a yoke, I probably wouldn't. Um, but the Allen Classic obviously takes it to the extreme with the 680. Yeah. Um, and, and for CrossFit, probably not. Just a, just a, just a fairly tight, uh, knee sleeve, good quality.